Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to Baldragan Academy. And as part of our uh, entry into BBC Schools Question and Answers, uh, we're going to have this short debate uh, featuring several prominent uh, local people who all have a stake in, obviously, uh, the issue of public safety and crime. I am Councillor Stuart Hunter. I'm the Deputy Commissioner of Education and I'm one of the World Councillors for Strathmore. Joe Fitzpatrick, I'm the MSP for Dundee City West. Sarah Crombie, Business Delivery Manager, Victim Support Scotland. Fabian Nowyogs, Victim Support Voice for Scotland. Sergeant Paul McCord, Community Sergeant for South Martin and Coles uh, First question we've got is from Martin Booth. Uh, my question is for Sarah Crombie of Victim Support. What items do you think young people would most likely to be mugged or assaulted for? Um, crimes that we get through victim support, it's a tendency for mobile phones and uh, for bikes, especially for slightly younger people. I think the items that are most likely to be stolen are phones. Um, like jewellery, um, money, car keys, house keys, stuff like that, expensive stuff. Mobile phones. Mobile phones and wallets and like maybe money or shopping. Phones, iPods and wallets, purses. Anything valuable. Off you. Jewelry, debit cards, uh, cash, all, all the expensive stuff you have off you. Loads of gadgets and valuable stuff that have all his money and phones. And your ID, bank card, phone, and valuable stuff. Uh, my question is for Sarah Crombie, what's on support? Do you have experience of offering support to younger people who have been victims of crime, and what advice do you give them? We do. Um, we offer support for people of all ages who. Um, have been affected by crime um, in our local services and uh, we have a local victim support service in Dundee and we offer four types of support depending on what that person may need at that time. So the types of support that we do and we can offer range from emotional support um, through to practical advice and information. Information can be um, right from depending on the age of that young person um, through to the criminal justice system or the children's reporter. I was at a party earlier this year and a girl came to me after being harassed by a boy and asked me to look after her. After uh, getting on the, the girl home safely, the boy who was previously harassing the girl argued with me and that led to uh, a free on, a free on assault of me and three other people and I was in head with the cross bar. I think most people actually have a very positive image of, of teenagers because that's the experience that most people get from most teenagers. But of course there's a small number of teenagers, the same as every other section of society who lets, lets the team down, so to speak. But I think that the impression most people have of, of most teenagers are very, very positive. I think that's, I think most people see the good um, and what, what teenagers do, especially in schools. So I think, uh, it a, certainly from my experience, it's a very positive image of teenagers in the city. Also, I would add to that though is that unfortunately that one percent can do a lot of damage. You know, um, we hear about the negative side very quickly and very easily uh, in regard to the media aspect that uh, it's put out. Do I feel safe walking around my local area? Not really. During the day, kind of, but like when it's getting dark, no, because like people follow you. Area. At night, no, but during the day, yeah. Yeah, because I'll be uh, where I live, Ken's I'll be. So. Yeah, because there's, because I don't live in that bad of an area. There's only some bad people where I live, like, so I feel quite safe. Yes, because, well, nobody walks around my area, I think. Yeah, because it's mostly pensioners that live in my area, so it's, 
It's quite safe. There's not many youngsters or that, so it's fine. Dave? No, I don't feel safe around my local area because there's like people doing like drugs and all that and all uh, reasons that you could get beaten up or you have trouble with the I guess. Sort of. Where I live, yeah, but in some other places, no. But, yeah, kind of. Um, yeah, in the daytime here, yeah, but when it's dark and people stop in their cars and watching. Um, what can politicians do to ensure local areas are safe for everyone, especially the younger people? The kind of first thing that we did was to, to prioritise police on the beat because we think that that's one of the um, most important things, not only to drive down crime, but to drive down the fear of crime because actually sometimes that's a lot higher than the actual crime. Crime is now at a 32 year low. I think from, from an answer's point of view, it's, it's, it's the same what I said before, but it's again like working with communities. Um, you know, I, I tend to get a lot of complaints, which although just pass straight usually to, to Paul, um, but it's, it's kind of working with the community and working with the police and trying to find solutions, I think. Uh, I would certainly support that. I mean, um, in my 23 years of police service and the changes actually in that time is quite considerable in the tactics and the format we use to provide reassurance to the public that it is safe and to tackle crime. And it's much more of a multi-agency, is the phrase we use. Yeah, this question is for Officer Palmcourt, Councillor Shurtmanner. Can you give reassurance to young people that they are safe in this area and in Dundee as a whole, in the wake of the recent assault of a man in St Mary's and stabbing of a young man on Caird Avenue? Yes. Um, I think it's a really serious amount of crime numbers have dropped dramatically. Um, what we find um, in general, and this is a general statement, is that most of uh, victims of serious crime uh, know their offender. I think some things we need to press magnify a bit because it is against the norm rather than, than what we see a lot of. Um, but I think against what we said earlier, a lot of what we do, you know, the police do in the communities and then the victim support do and the politicians try and do it. I think there's a lot of things going on that um, try to make the streets safer for everybody. Um, I can understand why people are, are scared when you see headlines like that, but I think sometimes it's magnified to make it worse than, than it actually is. Yes. Who would you say is like most to blame for these incidents? Would you blame the parents or peers or who would you say is most to blame? <laughs> I, I, I think all, all society has to take a responsibility. One of the big things that we haven't touched on, which where I think society can make a change, is, is our relationship in Scotland with alcohol. And, and we do have um, levels of violent crime, and very often alcohol is behind the sporadic violence. Um, and that's uh, something that we are hoping to, to deal with in the Scottish Parliament this year. Well, just on behalf of the people, also, myself, Mr. McCartney, I'd just like to thank you all for uh, coming to take the uh, Prison Lives Matter coming today and get the kids' questions. And hopefully, once we get this edited together, that will be part of a successful and good question. And just like to thank you.